So we said the setup wise, and we didn't actually go through a second ago, but the setup wise, the problem we had, your spine angle was good, but your legs were just a bit too far back behind you, yeah. so your weight went forward. You can sort of see the gap there in terms of where your feet are away from the mat there. You just shuffled your feet a little bit more underneath you kind of thing, and that puts your weight now a little bit more sort of towards the arches rather than towards the toe of your feet there, okay? So if we get a bit more underneath of your lower half, you can be a lot more balanced in your setup. In actual fact, I think for me, you look a bit more balanced on that right-hand side. This one just looks a little bit for me toppling forward. And as we said, if we watch that left foot movement going back, as the club gets the top, the left heel starts lifting up. Then she'll start going back down on the ground. And before there's the club just coming to view that blur there, before you hit it now, the left foot starts to lift up again. So that left foot, that's down, up, down. Then you're off the ground with your left foot spinning around, then back down again. And it says, yeah, you watch it in reverse this way, back and forth. You can see sort of the instability there through that left heel. And that's going to really restrict your lower half movement. Mm. Therefore, your top half now is doing all the work, and that's when you use your balance. Yeah. On the range, where it's a bit slower and less pressure, you're not worried about going left or right or whatever. You kind of get away with it. On a golf course, if he's moving up and down as much as that heel is moving, you've lost all stability. So mm. legs more underneath, as we said. Top of the back swing there, and that's about your top of your back swing there. That's great, really good position there, to be fair. Left heel's nice and flat as you start bringing that club back down. Now, that left foot now is barely moving at all. You're striking the ball now, you're rolling through, and the left heel now stays nice and ground. And you can see as you swing that golf club there, nice transition to the golf ball. Club now perfectly down the target line, then that is a really good position. Club face back to the golf ball, square club face and strike. It's a bit hard on the club face, hence when they're popping up a little bit too high, but the move with the body's good. The ball flight now on that case in point there was nice and straight. And we got a much more stable and balanced movement. If we sort of do that same thing with the video going back and forth here now, just watching your there's a lot more stability in that left foot there, can you see? Yeah. Whereas this one was say was wobbling around and <laughs> exactly. And once that and again, that's kind of what happens. I think again, just get the lesson. You're over golfing, you're a lot of golfing, you get fatigued and tired. If the lower half's doing all this sort of patter, 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 you're not going to be any balance at all. Yeah. So when you make some swings, you're going to be losing balance. And what happens is, if you start losing balance at about here, your brain goes, whoops, I've got to try and stay upright now, I'm going to fall over. And from that stage at sort of 5.5 5 seconds down to impact at 5.66, if you're trying to adjust balance, mm. yeah. it's guesswork. You might get a couple right on the golf course when every shot's different. You play your driver once every five, ten minutes. Mm. You haven't got that luxury of it in the second shot. The first one we saw, you nobbled it low left. Mm. Then the next one was really good. Then it went high right. Then so, so the second and reacting shot's always better as your provisional ball's always better. Yeah. On a golf course, it's one shot. You get one driver, then your second shot, then your hybrid, then whatever it may be. You're going to get your first one solid. Yeah. Okay, get that in play. Or at least your not so good shots are okay. Mm. They're not scuttled off there or... Exactly. And once you lose confidence, and again, if you're losing confidence and you're losing balance and you're playing a lot of golf, mm. it kind of sort of escalates it even more so because you're playing lots of golf, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Mm. Confidence are getting lower and lower and lower. The shots get worse. It's a vicious circle. Yeah. So in some ways, I play tomorrow in the medal and so on, and then I have to get a couple of days off to sort of put the clubs away and then okay, right, I'll just have a have a relax and then come back maybe start next week and so mm. on. Back with a fresh set of mind, just working on that left hip. What you could do perhaps is just sort of make some swings without the club. Just put the club across your shoulders and make some swings just focusing yeah. on that left heel, yeah, just to try and idea. practice yeah. that. Again, I should put the kettle on, do it for 30 seconds or a minute while you went for the kettle to boil, kind of thing. Yeah. Two or three times a day, just get that feeling. So you almost kind of feel that you've actually, you're pushing something down when you're swinging back, pushing that left foot mm. into the ground, getting some stability there. So as you swing through, mm. it's nice and balanced. We're not sort of going to go up here and then. Yeah. yeah. But you could sort of explain why people said, oh, you were moving or yeah. uh, Bob would say, oh, you were you, moving or whatever. Yeah. And people can see what you're doing wrong, but don't know kind of what the cure yeah. is and why you're doing it. Right. What, what part of that body there is causing that to just do this? Yeah. Is it the feet, is it the knees, the hips, the shoulder, whatever? And that's why people see them lift your head, keep your head down. They'll see the body coming up for some reason or another. It could be the knees, the foot, the hips, or whatever. Mm. And they see the head, oh, keep your head down. And then you see guys doing the same move and going, trying to keep their head underneath their head. Yeah, <laughs> Head's going to fall off. It's like, well, you can't do that. So, yeah, your your foot doing this and this yeah. and this through the swing, yeah. it lost all stability. And you're hitting the golf ball now with the left foot off the yeah. ground. You can't twist. Your left knee is that way. You you can't no. twist. No. The hips can't then twist. The top half's trying to say catch up with the arms. Yeah. And you lunge back. So. Yeah. Okay, makes sense? Excellent. Excellent.